I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a green dragon, a west, three, four, eight, nine in dots, one, two, five, nine in cracks, one, two, three, six in bams. We have no multiples, all singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on one through four consecutive run. We may or may not be able to use the dragon. We have all kinds of options with the consecutive run with little numbers. I don't think I would keep the five because Let's see, really four numbers in a range in mixed suits is what you want to focus on for consecutive run in five. You know what though? We could do little odds, one, three, five. Let's keep it. Because if we're using little numbers in consecutive run, we can use one, three, five if we get little odds. So I probably would pass those three. Maybe, yeah, because if we did that, then we would be left with eight, nine in dots. And if we get everything we need in here, I don't want to pass that. So I would break that up by using a tile so that I have offsuits for my next pass. So I think either one through five consecutive run or little odds. And I would just gather. When a multiple forms, then I would reassess and build around the multiple. Here we have all singles. This is a great example of a starting hand where people might say, I have nothing. But the fact is you do have a lot of tiles to work with. In this case, we have no multiples, but we have a predominant pattern, either one through four consecutive run or little odds. There's plenty to work with. We have a joker, a flower, a green dragon. In bams, we have two, eight, nine. And then in dots, we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight. And then a seven crack. No multiples. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on little numbers. Same situation as the last pull. We could maybe do little odds. So I would probably pass one of each suit. A little bit risky, but we're building here. And I would want to give myself options, so I would pass those.
we have two jokers, green and red dragon, two, three, eight in dots, two, three, seven, eight, nine in bams with a pair of sevens, and then a three crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the seven with or without dragons and I would keep consecutive tiles. So seven, eight, nine, if we get sixes, we might be able to use them. This is going to be a bit risky, so we might have to give something up because we have twos and threes, and I don't like passing like numbers. I think that it is just as risky as passing a pair, maybe a little less risky. So I would probably pass a three and then a two in a different suit, and then probably let one of these go, maybe the red dragon. We have seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, dragon. That's actually a hand if we can get a six, bam, and build up. So I would probably let this go and then maybe switch out that three. So we have one of each suit. This corresponds with cracks, so that would be an offsuit dragon. Build around sevens gather seven, eight, nine, maybe sixes if they come in. Break these up. When you first get your dealt tiles, identify the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand could be either multiples, pair punk kong, or the predominant pattern. Choose a category that uses most of your tiles supporting the strength of the hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.